Today I wanted to share with you the essentials for your gym wardrobe. So these are the things that I think are really great to have if you are looking to purchase any items for the gym or you are looking to expand your gym wardrobe. I am so guilty of wearing like pajamas to the gym sometimes, like just throwing on a big t-shirt and shorts. Really at the end of the day, as long as you're going to the gym, that's all that really matters. But if you're looking to purchase some pieces or you're starting from zero, and you don't know where to start then this is the video for you let's jump right down into it okay we're gonna start at the top now I don't have a chest at all <laughs> but you still regardless of your chest size need to invest in some good sports bras so my favorites are Nike which is the one I'm wearing now and I also really love sports bras from Lululemon so the great thing about athletic wear now is compared to like I don't know 10 years ago is that there are so many different options out there. There's so many different levels of support. So when I go to Lululemon, um, they have all their sports bras organized by support and I usually go for like the less supportive ones because obviously I don't have a lot to support. Um, but my Nike sports bras are very supportive. And again, that's really important, especially if you are dealing with larger ladies uh, because if they're not properly supported, obviously it can be very distracting if you're working out. It can make you feel a little self-conscious it can make you feel uncomfortable and then it can also put some unnecessary tension on your back and that is not something that you want yeah I love the Nike and the Lululemon but if you don't want to spend that much money on sports bras I've also been loving the sports bras from forever 21 this is one of them I love the sports bras at forever 21 because they're always super trendy I, I think that one's like so cute and I think this one was only like $12 which is really really good if you want sort of like a one-stop shop or like a two-in-one you might want to think about investing in a bra top or like an athletic tank top that has a sports bra built into it now I love these because then you don't have to fuss about dirtying a sports bra and then like whatever shirt you wear over it and especially like with athletic clothes athletic wear depending on what you're doing you tend to not want to wear anything like super baggy or too flowy um because you don't want it to get in the way so that's why i really love these tank tops and the tops from lululemon because i just find that they're really snug they hold their shape they're made of really really good material so you can wash them a lot and not worry about them fraying or getting um messed up or pilly or anything and yeah they just again they have so many different support levels and different support systems that work really well and just keeping everything locked in and um, the other tops that I really love, I, I love Nike tops as well. I also really love Gap. Gap has some really great athletic tops um, and again like that's what's so great about you know athletic wear becoming so mainstream now is that you can pretty well find athletic clothes at a lot of major like clothing retailers that don't just do athletic wear but yeah I'm always a huge fan of Lululemon so you got your sports bra you've got your top um, the next thing that I would recommend getting is a little jacket or sweater now of course if you have a little jacket or sweater at home you can always just throw that on I like to buy ones that I use just for the gym or that are a little more athletic wear in nature just because I don't want to like bring a gorgeous new cardigan to the gym and then like throw it on the floor and have it like get dirty so I've been loving the ones from Lululemon obviously I know I sound like a broken record but they're just amazing amazing quality and I know that you know Lululemon has had a it's fair share of controversy but it'll always be one of my favorite brands and I've had this jacket in particular for uh, now probably like six years and it still looks like new and that is an amazing testament to the quality and what I love about athletic jackets is that they're always sort of made with like secret little vents and stuff so that you don't get too hot in it or that it doesn't start to like smell or get gross and yeah I really I really love the jackets from Lululemon um, this is another jacket that I will wear to the gym sometimes. This is by Converse that I probably got at like Macy's or something. Um, another really cute jacket option. Again, just bring a sweater because you never know if whatever studio you're going to like likes to blast the air conditioning, you're going to want to just have a little jacket in your wardrobe 
it's important. Of course, now pants. So, um, I love the high-waisted pants, and my recommendation for an essential wardrobe pant is going for one that's going to be darker in color. So, um, they are like obviously now with athletic wear becoming again so trendy and so mainstream. There's so many different types of pants out there, and there's like, crazy color ones and you know ones that have different fabrics and you know metallic and it can get very overwhelming very quickly but if you're looking for just a staple you know very basic wardrobe pant for the gym I would say go with a dark color for many different reasons the most important being that one it will not show your sweat which is super important and you don't want to get distracted by stuff like that like you don't want to be at the gym working out really hard and then get distracted by like sweat marks on your pants and feel embarrassed that it's like the worst also if you feel a little self-conscious and it's maybe your first time going to classes or going to the gym and you feel like you don't want to pull attention to yourself why are you going to go out and buy like purple pants you know so that's why i recommend definitely going for just a plain pair of black pants also when you're buying that pair of black pants make sure you do the uh, light test which is hold the pants up to a light or when you're trying them on in the dressing room bend over a little bit I know it sounds like so dirty um, but make sure that they're not see-through a lot of athletic pants depending on the quality are slightly see-through and again you don't want to be wearing a pair of pants and then like halfway through your class notice that they're see-through and then feel either one like you can't finish the class or two so distracted that you feel like you just wasted your time so it's nice before we even purchase the pants to make sure that they are not see-through moving down a good pair of shoes obviously a staple in any gym wardrobe getting a good pair of sneakers dsw carries some really great uh sneakers if you don't want to buy like right off the bat like a pair of nikes or a more expensive shoe i've gotten some really really great asics from dsw which i love these are a pair of nike freeforms which i adore as well it's of course just kind of finding whatever shoe works for you and whichever shoe is going to complement whatever sort of workout you're doing and the people like at stores like nike or adidas Rebox, Foot Locker, like they can help you. They are so knowledgeable about that sort of thing. So definitely go on in there, ask. Um, they can help you find the perfect shoe for you. And the last staple in your gym wardrobe should be, and this is my favorite, a good pair of socks. Socks get so overlooked in wardrobes in general and a good pair of socks is completely essential to a gym wardrobe and I'll tell you why. If you're wearing a pair of socks that are either too small, too thick, it's gonna be incredibly distracting, especially if they're too small and they start sliding down your heel. Listen, we've all been there when our sock starts to slide and we start getting a blister on our heel or we start getting a lot of irritation around the skin on the foot it's just horrible so the last thing you want to do is like have traveled all the way to the gym or to your class or something and then halfway through your workout feel like you are you know creating the biggest blister of life on your heel and then get home and see that oh my goodness now I can't put on shoes for the next two weeks because I have these huge blisters guys it's happened to me so many times also if your socks are too thick it's gonna get really hot really quickly and it's funny when your feet are really hot it can make you get really hot really fast and get a little bit turned off from whatever it is that you're doing so i recommend getting you know trying on and finding socks that really work for you in terms of them you know fitting your foot really well providing enough support but also at the same time providing some ventilation so you don't feel like your feet are in little ovens again I really love the socks from lululemon they are a little bit expensive you only get one pair of socks in the little bundle but they are just fantastic socks as you can see they go up high enough that they're not gonna slide off your foot they're nice and tight they provide a little bit of extra support around the arch um, I also love just plain black ankle socks and these ones are from I want to say they're from like BJ's or something BJ's or Costco where you can get like a huge bundle for a really good price and they're cute and they stay on your foot they're light enough that you know your feet aren't gonna be like sweating to death they're great 
So yeah guys, those are my essentials for the gym. Just your basic pieces to start your wardrobe and to start working out, start going to the gym, start going to classes, whatever it is that you love, however you love to move your body. If you have any questions, leave them down below. I'll be sure to answer them. Thank you guys so much for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already and I'll talk to you really soon. Bye.